A new Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 patch just dropped. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for Naughty I Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, 4.0 patch just dropped. It seems like this one is going to be one running through this weekend, um, which is really good. Testing focus is going to be performance, stability, bug fixes, server meshing, uh, 2, 2, 3, 80. So two DGSs, two uh systems and 380 players in total i believe that's how that is uh uh is set up um for pyro system and new locations contested zones and jump points all right so they made a few updates with this one under features and gameplay under ai they said they added new fauna the kzar grazer and fps ai cover uh usage polish has also been done under gameplay foip um tracking refinement it says various improvements to the tracking stability and quality of face over ip added head rotation uh tracking refined tracking algorithm and improved uh, motion with wider range of motion for the mouth uh, stability to help uh, jitter in low lights and highlight conditions secondary motion added for extreme poses next here it says they made further mission refactor progress it says more permissions will be available but still very work in progress this will also disable the service beacon tab for the initial 4.0 release but will not affect the medical beacon use added auto uh, pagination to contracts and for 4.0 many missions will be very localized some down to the exact point of interest you are at really interesting the next one here says split objective in contract panels based on whether they are in the player solar system or not for displaying distance and sorting next under ships and vehicles they made further ship inclusion it says here they've added further inclusion from uh 3.24.3 into 4.0 the star lancer polaris intrepid uh terrapin and terrapin medical next year the Carrick feature update this is big i like this one the Carrick has been updated to include the option to deploy and undeploy its blast shields from a new interaction added to the cockpit we have also added a new interaction to open and close the cargo pods outside access to load cargo in and out of the ship this is huge this is huge this currently keeps the cargo pods in their current uh, raised state uh near the ship and does not have all the intended audio really interesting all right on the core tech they made further entity physics performance improvements made further client performance improvements they made multiple ai locomotion performance improvements gpu vfx particle performance improvements improved jump tunnel performance to reduce stutter they've optimized gas cloud and asteroid sampling performance they made multiple planetary streaming performance improvements holographic hud mfd shader polish they made further water reflection improvements further jump points ui vfx and light and polish they've added new spawn queue logic to queue players joining a new shard all at once will adjust how many players can join per 10 seconds window before hitting a queue as we monitor time but will help smooth out initial shard issues really nice they have a few buffings for this one. They faced an issue where hangers disappeared after player arrived. They faced an issue where no quantum jump after failing jump through a jump gate. They fixed an issue where local missions not available at mission location. They fixed an issue where AI not moving or leaving their spawn closet across multiple locations. They fixed an issue where you cannot open blue and red doors in contested zones they fix an issue where vehicle turrets are locked in their default position and cannot be turned they fix an issue where narina rest ground is not leveled with the ground this is in pyro they fix an issue where the player cannot get hangar for the vehicle um, it, at the stanton gateway station they fix an issue where the jump point should remain open while ships are entering after timer expiry if it's an issue where some may rock appear frozen immobile in the air they face an issue where freight elevators show elevator obstructed with nothing on the elevator they fix an issue where map is not focused on selecting marker after transitioning to a new solar system they fix an issue where npcs cannot throw grenades from cover 
very dangerous. The fixing issue were door panels and door become unresponsive after switching DGS during QT. The fixing issue were bounty hunter missions are offered in an incorrect order. Along with this is 10 client crash fixes, 9 server crash fixes, a hybrid service crash fix and, and 3 server deadlocks. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.